Hey, what's up YouTube? Bo Art Take over here back with a tutorial video. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make one of these. It's kind of like an eruption effect you can use for your displays. Here's another version. It's like the first one I did right here. And there's another one. And I made a couple other ones, and I, I also sent Robo one, you know, a while back. He featured it on one of his playdates. So you could do something like this, which is what we're going to be making today. And I do have this thing heated up, heating up, because it, it will take a while for this thing to heat up to get to the preferred temperature to create something that's kind of seamless, that looks pretty good. So you gotta get the glue gun really, really hot for that. The materials you need are as follows. You need a pair of scissors, some type of glue. I'd use something that dries a little faster. Uh, a pen or pencil or a marker. Some cylinder shaped tube. Today we're gonna be using the larger one. Usually I typically use the smaller one, but we're gonna make a larger one today. You need some glue sticks and you need some what's this paper called uh, parchment paper the cookie paper do not use the wax paper because it will stick the glue will stick to the wax paper in this video i did end up using the wax paper because i was out of parchment paper and you'll see how that turns out and an optional thing you may need is a razor blade i want to mention i am not a professional you know on this i've made a couple projects like this and I just wanna, you know, demonstrate how I do it using my understanding of, you know, using hot glue. Get a paper flat, of course, and you just kind of roll it. And halfway through that, you're gonna apply like a strip of glue, you know, just a little strip. And then you just continue rolling it over, you know, and towards the end, you apply another strip, thin strips, of course. You roll it over so that it all sits and it's all flush. You know, you want it as minimal wrinkles as possible. You know, so it looks like that. How you want to do it is you want the glue to be just... I'll try to do this on camera. You want it hot enough so that the glue actually melts onto each other. So, like, if you do a strip, just, just slightly right beside it, but not on top of it, it'll look like one seam. Start from the bottom and just go slow, deliberate, as straight as you can get it, lines. Real slow. Try to get it as straight as you can. You gotta release the trigger, reload if you need to. We're gonna come back. Just wanted to kind of give you an idea of how it's coming out. Finish this up and then we'll come back. It's a little messy at the top. This is kind of where I just finished off the strips. Now I have to go back and pull off the rest of this access stuff, but you can still, you know, just cut around whatever you're not going to use, you know, so we're going to create a, a stand for it. So now what I want to do for the stand, I'm going to unplug my hot glue, my hot glue gun and let it uh, cool down for a little bit because for this next part, I want it to be a little more solid when it, when I lay it down, take a something to write with and you want to go around the cylinder shape at the end of it all right so yeah i've made a circle and this is going to be where i apply my base at turn this around it's creating i'd say like a port and the project that we're going to be doing is going to be so that it's removable and angled so but if you were to let's say complete something like this then here you would just glue it around the circle you know, and um, just glue this base part, the shaft, to that. And you just kind of go around and you build on it, you know, just add some depth to it. So this is the piece that, as you can see, I ripped off the paper. And uh, this is the other side. Now, I was still going to use this, but the hole is too small, you know, for this to actually pour it into. So I ended up making another one over here. So this is what the new O looks like that I created with the hot glue. As you can see, it just barely kind of sits on it, but we'll be able to go back and kind of 
you know, add a little more layers to make it a little more of a snug fit later on. Is This is going to be angled like this. And I'm going to create another circle to where it just kind of connects. Make this hole a, a little larger, actually, than this hole to your left. The original uh, shape that I made. Actually create a sheet of glue. You know, I'm um, just kind of going through it real fast. The idea is just kind of bring it around like that, and I'm going to glue it in. This is what we have so far. I have connected the that long strip. I'm going to glue this around here like this. Quite a few layers, you know, just kind of seal it up. Be mindful of the weight too, you know, so maybe add some more layers just coming out. So that's pretty much what we're going to do all the way around here. So that's going to take a while. See, as a quick roundabout look at it, you know, nothing too fancy, nothing too special. I just wanted to pretty much get that, that form in there. So next we're going to take the hot glue gun and just go around it and start creating more volume adding a little more lumps. I want to show you how I obtain like, like a piece like this that's kind of hanging a little bit. What you got to do is, see, I've already got my glue gun pretty hot. And I'm going to, well, you don't do it on the paper, obviously, but you do it on here and you just kind of turn it like to the side to let it, it's gonna start to drip. You don't turn it to the side immediately. You wait a couple, just a couple seconds, maybe like five, six seconds, you know, to let it set just a little bit. And then you turn it over to the side and it's gonna droop. But what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm actually gonna make the strip. So we're back. So I'm finished with the uh, the wall that I'm going to be putting just right here. Just going to go all the way around like that. So this is what it looks like. This is supposed to be like the middle part. Pretty much I'm just going to wing it, you know, and see what happens with it. And I also did these pieces right here. Now I'm going to build on these and it's just I'm going to put them some random spots, you know, within this piece right here and build on it just, just to give it more volume and stuff. All right, YouTube, so we're back with the conclusion of this tutorial video. I don't even know why I'm calling it tutorial. I did most of the work off camera, but this is what the thing looks like. Here's it all assembled. As you can see, if you've been following along, I have uh, added a little piece down here, you know, just kind of support the weight and stuff, you know. Got a couple lights inside of it, you know, don't mind all that. Bring it in closer. All right, so yeah, just try to basically keep with consistency and uh, just volume, volume, volume. You know, the name of the game is building and patience, you know, so this is how it turned out. Take a look at the inside. I went and added some glue as well for the inside of it. And that part was, um, it was actually kind of difficult, you know, trying to get inside there like that because I've already assembled everything. But I don't think I did too bad doing it. So yeah. I'd say this took, um, honestly, man, this probably took about eight hours or something like that. You know, I just finished today. Today is a new day. I started this yesterday, but, you know, I didn't start on it like at the beginning of the day or anything like that. So, but yeah, man, this is it. So if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below. Um, don't forget to like the video, please, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And let me know if you like this type of content. I get enough 
interest people that are interested in um you know this type of project i might go back and uh, do a little paint video for it and stay tuned for the photos you know but other than that yeah that's it peace youtube thanks for watching